Hey peeps, I'm Wild Firefly, and I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today while we play another episode of Subnautica. Oh my gosh, I am still just so excited to be back in this game. Um, before, we, uh, before we jump in, I just want to remind you guys, if you enjoy hanging out with me today, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out, and it helps me know which series you guys are enjoying the most. So when we left off, we were looking for, we need sulfur from the crash um fish things and i'm having a hard time finding them we found one but then i died because i wasn't paying attention okay we've been down there so i'm looking for a little cave system 30 seconds i'm already going to the surface yeah so that's what we're trying to uh we're trying to do we're not having a lot of luck so far um but that that's a big part of this game is like Kind of just exploring and looking for resources. Oh, here's a little cave. Please be in here. Like, I swear, once we find this and we don't need it anymore, we're gonna be swimming through caves all the time and they're gonna, like, jump out of us and it's gonna be horrible. Right, we've been through this before. Seriously. What I wouldn't give for a little, uh, explosion. I'm trying to remember to surface. Fairly regularly. Did they make them more, like, rare? In the, in the full release version? Cause I... Okay, there... I think we've been in this cave already. We should be scanning things as we go. Oh, this isn't even a cave. Oh yeah, it is. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Swim! Uh, yeah, that was unavoidable. We're gonna just do that and that. Finally! Okay. 30 seconds. Yep, we're not gonna make that mistake again. Okay. We need to get our uh, tools situated. Oh, that was right by our bait. Oh my gosh. I feel kinda dumb now. Okay. Finally, we'll be able to make the repair tool, which is good. Okay. So, how do we want to do this? We'll put the knife in one, scanner in three, and we're missing one. Oops. Okay, so let's go to two. Secondary nice. Online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab that. Um, we're gonna put that silicone away. Make that titanium. Let's put that. Anything out? Okay, deployables. And we're gonna make that waterproof locker because I think we're gonna need it. It doesn't have a lot of storage space. All right. Awesome, let's play this message. This is a warning. The stress signal is saved. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in the Nine. 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 Nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Awesome. Okay, that's that's all. Um. So now I'm gonna go. Okay, so we need to be scanning things. 
and there was a box. Where was that box? I have no idea. I'm also going to go out to the edge over here so we can get... So we can get silver as we look for stuff to scan. Coral shell plate, table coral. Oh, there goes my dog. I don't know what he's barking at. He was doing that earlier. Okay, there should be some wreckage around in this area somewhere. But, uh, yeah, there should be some. I think, I think that there's some this direction, but I don't know. It's easy to get turned around on this, uh, in this game. Oh, here we go. There's a box. I really want to get the sea glide next so we can get around a little bit faster. So we only need two fragments. So we're already doing pretty well. And I'm gonna try to take a little bit of time at the end of every episode, hopefully I'll remember it, to like go through and read through the stuff so you guys kind of get um, a full experience. Unless you guys don't like that, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Like a really bad rap song. Can I scan you from? Nope, 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 nope. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? Harmless. We're very close to the surface. We'll be okay. Darkness is falling. Okay, here we go. Here's a wreck. I knew that there was a wreck over here. And over this shelf is where we could probably find silver. Okay, what can we scan over here? Is there anything? Come on. Ooh, that's something we can scan. A grab trap fragment. Have anything in you? Nope. Apparently, there's no sea glide fragments over here. Wow, oh, yes. Short range scans suggest I think... this biome supports Okay, let's get some oxygen and we're gonna go down. And connects to a number of small cave networks. Um, because I think that that's a piece of the, um, the whatchamacallit. Yeah, it is. Sea moth. Man, we already got our first Seamoth fragment. Okay. Five. Okay, can you give me silver? Give me silver or give me death. Nope, I don't want lead. I mean, I'll take it. But what I really need is some silver. Just one piece of silver. I'd really like to get... The high capacity tank. Okay, we're gonna. 30 seconds. Oh, dang it. Calorie intake recommended. Uh, crap. Yeah, we better. We're gonna head back to. Home. And collect. Some food on the way. Even though I was really hoping to get silver while we were out. Just some sometimes you just can't have everything that you want. Dang it, I missed. Dang it, I missed. Wait, where's our There it is. We also have those emergency rations. I try to save them if I can. And you guys are stupid fast. Oh crap. Alright, hold on. We're gonna get this one. Come here. Come here, Pepper. Or, uh, boomerang. 
Ooh, and you? New nice. Discovered. Watching my oxygen. We're gonna come get this bladder fish. Nice. Yeah, I hear ya. Hop up to the surface. And then, ooh, there's some more. Nice, look at us. We're fulfill everything. Come on. Yep, another bladder fish. We'll have plenty of water. I think you can also cook the bladder fish, but that would be a waste, in my opinion. What are you? You're new. No, come back. Come back. Okay. We should have enough... Let's turn that off, because we don't really need it right now. Oop, I missed. Okay, that's fine. We we should have enough. I'm I'm actually kind of chill with what we have now. Okay. I think that there's another. Okay, let's cook. Oh crap! I just cooked a bladder fish. Well, now we know you can, but we don't want to. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt. Or locally sourced herbs and spices. Yeah, we don't know of any locally sourced herbs or spices. I mean, we still had plenty of water, so no biggie. Um, so let's go to our inventory. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we probably cooked too many. That's okay. Make some titanium. Okay. You get to store a bunch of titanium. And we get to keep looking for... Oh, is that where... Please be a... Oh, yes! Alright, now we're gonna make the sea glide. So let's go back and check the recipe. Is that blinking? No. Or not blinking, but like lit up. Okay. Deployables, sea glides. We need lubricant, copper wire, battery, and titanium. So I think we are out of copper. We are, but we can make the lubricant. So let's grab those. Oops. I'm just eat those up. I don't know if it gives us bonus. Okay, so let's make lubricant. lubricant. And I'm actually going to make two because we've got a bunch of silicone. A bunch of silicone. I'm just going to make all the lubricant because we don't want to use up our inventory space. So then what was the other thing? So we need two copper So, yeah, one, three. We need three copper and two acid mushrooms. Okay. All right, onwards. Uh, a good place to get copper, I believe, is in here. I believe. What is that? That's an egg. We don't need any eggs right now. Oops. There's one copper. Two. I'll have to pick that up off the floor. 
So we've already got two out of three, which is pretty good. And we'll have our sea glide, and then we can go get that dang silver so we can have a high capacity tank. Oh, we got all three. I'm just gonna collect a few more because I think we're gonna need another battery or two. Oh crap. Every time we're in this place, we forget to pay attention. Okay, we're actually really close to the surface on this end. Okay, so now we just need to collect the acid mushrooms, which we can do on the way. In fact, let's just grab one, two, two, three, four. Okay, just gonna grab a couple extra. You know what? Because we need these for computer chips. I'm just going to grab a handful right now while we're thinking about it. Future proofing ourselves. Alright. Dun 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 dun. So, first things first, let's grab. Actually, first things first, let's go ahead and craft that. And craft that. And then... Lubricant. That's right. Lubricant. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. We've got our sea glide. That's gonna make life a lot easier. Alright. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack so. supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. We're gonna take that food with us. Drop the copper. Um. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a point of detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, so now we're gonna go look for silver because I really want that high capacity tank. Um, and then. Yes, yeah, shouldn't be too far over here. Um, and then, uh, the next episode we will. I also want to read the things off the things that we scanned, which means we have limited time to do this. So I guess we won't be looking for too terribly long. There's a cave over here, if I remember correctly, that we could always find. 30 seconds. Copper. Oh, come on. Silver. Give me, give me silver. Or give me death. I am going to die if I don't. Nice thing is we can kind of... Oh, yeah, we got plenty of oxygen. Just need one piece of silver, game. Oh, I wonder if that cave... Nope. Oh, and we are in the wrong biome now. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 130 seconds, oxygen efficiency decreased. <sighs> I don't know if we're going to find silver. I think what I'm going to do is head back to the base. We'll focus on the silver search. Search for silver, the silver search. Um, next time. But I want to read a couple of the like journal entry things um, before the end of the episode. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do that. Remember to do that at the end of every episode. Whether or not I will is, you know, questionable, but... Um, we'll, we'll try. That's all we, that's all we can do, right? Just try, try, try. 
That sounded really weird. Alright. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 10. We're here. Okay. So let's go in here. We're going to go to the data bank. Um, let's go to indigenous life forms. Coral. Coral shell plane. This variant of coral has adapted to survive in close proximity to other corals, filtering nutrients from the water and sharing them via spore-like substances which grow around the base. No practical applications discovered. Giant coral tubes. Uh, the variety of coral formations on the 4546B appear to be different solutions to the same problem of maximizing water and nutrient flow throughout the colony. These particular variants funnel water down a tube, filtering nutrients as they pass. Their size suggests they have been highly successful. Assessment. Coral tube samples are rich in calcium, exploitable in bleach fabrication. So that's what we need to um, make bleach to clean water. Uh, table coral. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms filtering nutrients from the water. Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. Unlike other coral species, it is structure, its structure is malleable, softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, and only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. The jewel-like nodes on the surface are concentrated buildups of rare minerals the coral is unable to process. Assessment, exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Okay, let's read uh, about the gasopod. Gasopod, a slow-moving life form and one of the larger herbivores on the planet. Providing a substantial meal would be to would-be predators, the gasopod protects its domain by filling the surrounding water with poisonous and corrosive pods whose contents dissolve even synthetic fibers. Filtration system. Thick, non-reactive skin and multiple gill layers renders this creature impervious to the noxious acid clouds it produces. A uh, the algae gland, a bulbous sac-like appendage on the rear end. A luminescent yellow algae, 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 grows inside the sac and produces the poisonous compound. Abdominal muscles can contract, causing the algae gland to admit the noxious compound into the surrounding water. Uh, large public fins capable of powering powerful movement through the water when moving in small herds. Behavior. Gasopods appear to be social in nature and may even use their emissions in their relationship ritual rituals. Their audible calls are likely signifiers of nearby threats or food sources. Assessment. Approach with caution. Acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. Oh, I didn't know that, that there was a use for that. Awesome. So that's all we're going to read. I know that there's a couple more that we could, but I want to keep this right on time. Um, we'll do that at the end of every episode. Just read a couple of them just so we can see. Um, we'll play that message next episode. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the uh, like button. That's funny that it, like, even though we went down the bottom, it does that animation. Um, if you haven't, if you want to hang out more in the future, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Subnautica. Subnautica.